Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a new books haul video. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And hey, don't forget to smash the notification bell. Then you can find out when I've uploaded new content, also when I'm doing live streams. So yeah, I've got some new books, going to show you them, tell you a bit about them. And if you are a bookworm like me, I'm a very you know, proud bookworm, uh, please uh, feel free to join my online virtual book club on Goodreads. I'm so excited about that. Um, yeah, I'll put the link down below. So if you want to um, join, that would be fantastic. Uh, you know, it's cool. I love it. I love being a part of the book club. By the way, the book of the month uh, is any Christmas themed book uh, it can be any genre at all as long as it's got like a, a holidays christmas theme i will show you by the way my book club read because it is here next to me um but anyway yeah so come and join the book club the minx book club on goodreads link is down below so yeah some of these books i got from uh, waterstones i've got the works i've got um what else have i got i can't remember now poundland we're just gonna just gonna show you the books i'll tell you where they're from at the time but oh this bag's heavy love this bag by the way this waterstones bag is just so nice i love it i have this urge to color in all the books like is that weird maybe i don't know um, but whenever they say do you want a bag like even if i don't need one i'm like yes please because i just i don't know i really find like them bags really nice to look at anyway uh, i'm a true book nerd what can i say okay so first book is this one actually i need to put my glasses on I can't really do this without my glasses. There we go. I can actually read properly now. So yeah, this one I got from Poundland and it's called Vampire Circus by Mark Morris. It says here, the nightmare has begun. <sighs> um, so yeah, this is from Hammer. You know Hammer Horror that do like the old like retro horror films. I've never read a Hammer book. I didn't even know they did Hammer books. So there we go. I used to watch Hammer Horror films like way, way back in the day when I was like a goth, like early teenage years. Um, but yeah, I've not seen a Hammer film for ages so um yeah mark morris the vampire circus now i love vampires and i love circuses so i'm hoping the mixture of the two will be a good result right so i'll read the back to you tell you what it's about it says here that it's new and classic stories that will provoke scare and surprise sounds good to me um your children will die your community will die to give me back my life Ooh. uh the small rural community of shell has fallen into a decline it is rife with crime plagued by ill fortune when the circus of knights arrives how cool is that sorry that just sounds so cool the circus of knights anyway um the people are drawn to it like moths to a flame it is as though they are bewitched only four men realize there is something terribly wrong and as the town is enclosed in a barrier of sickness through which no one can enter or leave they must do their utmost to protect their loved ones before it is too late uh, that just sounds so cool i love this cover so much like this girl just looks amazing i love the gothic top and the little hat look at the little top hat there the lace just everything yeah really cool so hopefully that'll be good it was only a pound and it is a film as well a hammer horror film called vampire circus so maybe i'll watch the film at some point if i like the book next up i have this one here uh this one i got from the works and it's called we just clicked we just clicked yeah, we just clicked. Uh, so there was a deal in the works. They had uh, three books for a five, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I think they should all be in here, so I can show you what ones I picked up. Uh, this is by Annabelle, and um, I don't usually read that many romances. Like I do like romance and, and lovey-dovey stuff. Don't get me wrong. I am a very slushy, romantic person. However, I don't tend to read that many. I have to be in a certain mood for a bit of lovey-dovey kind of fiction. Um, but I, I just saw this and I thought, I read the back, I thought it sounded my cup of tea and it sounded quite fun. It says, could it be love at first like? Um, so it says here, is is always played by the rules, but now it's time to break them. When would-be Instagram influencer Izzy Brown agrees to fake date, her colleague Luke to boost their profiles it's against her better judgment everyone tells fibs on social media right and suddenly Izzy's follower numbers are skyrocketing and she's finally living the glamorous online life that she's always dreamed of with the perfect boyfriend by her side uh, when Izzy runs in to aid in the mysterious stranger who saved her the day the world fell apart two years ago major sparks fly is is sure she can have the online success she's always dreamed of whilst falling in love in real life after all aiden doesn't use social media what could possibly go wrong 
Do you know what I mean? How fun does that sound? I'm really like interested in like, you know, social media stories. I've read quite a few um, in my time. So I just thought it sounded cool. And I do believe there is that fake stuff. You know, you see on, on social media, these couples and you think, are you really going out together? Or is it just like to raise both your profiles? Um, I just think it sounds like a little fun read. So I'll definitely be reading that uh, at some point. So the next one I've got in the three for fiver deal was um, Nancy Springer's Anola Holmes. This is number one in the series. So this is also a film on Netflix. Um, I haven't watched it, by the way. But, I, you know, if I like the book, I'll definitely watch the film. Um, this is the girl from Stranger Things, isn't it? Yeah, she looks so much different. She looks older. Her hair's longer as well. And that's Superman. I can't remember his name. I think it's Caval. Henry Caval, is it? Maybe. I can't remember. Um, and what's her name? It's going to bug me now. Oh, Helena Bottom Boat Book or something. I don't know. Bottom. I don't know what I called her. Bottom. Anyway, lots of famous celebrities in the film is, is what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, it looks good. Um, I like little kind of, you know, mysteries and stuff. Obviously, I think this is a young adult book. Uh, it says here, mystery, adventure. Um, and it, yeah, basically, she is uh, Sherlock Holmes's uh, little sister. Uh, I didn't even know he had a little sister, to be fair. But um yeah, it looks, it looks really good. So I'll read the back to you. It says, when her mother disappears on her 14th birthday, Enola Holmes, uh, the much younger sister of the famous detective Sherlock, suddenly finds herself in the care of her brothers. While Sherlock begins to investigate, his brother Mycroft um, sets about sending Enola away to a boarding school. But Enola has other ideas, deciding to track her mother down herself. But the trail leads to another missing person and the deadly dangerous streets of Victorian uh, East London. This exciting mystery adventure proves Anola to be more than a match for her brilliant brother. So it's quite a cool, like a female, like younger version of Sherlock. Um, no doubt there'd be a bit of romance as well, I reckon. Possibly. I don't know. I've not seen the film or read the book, but maybe. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough in there. Uh, right, next up, I have this one here. So this book is from Waterstones. Uh, it's called These Women love this cover there's something so cool about this cover i don't know what it is maybe it's the lighting like the way the girl is just like sitting there and she's smoking it's like kind of green and red lighting on her i don't know um but yeah this book basically i've not heard of or anything i've not seen it on booktube i've not heard about it on like, social media or anything like that but i'll tell you how i found out about it i was on google searching something or other and you know google gives you those suggested articles that you might be interested in they had an article of like top 10 um thrillers of, of this year kind of thing so i was like oh i wonder if there's any i missed because i love my thrillers and i'd read a lot of them to be fair there's some lisa jewel one that i loved i think it was invisible girl that one um, the brilliant Richard Osman's uh, Thursday Night Murder Club, which was without a doubt my well, well one of my favourite books of, of the year. Um, and, but then I saw this one and I was like, oh, I've never heard of that. And I, I, I like the cover, as I say, on the article. And then I read what it was about and I thought, this is this is just going to be so good. Like, it is quite dark. It's a dark story. Um, but it's, it, I'll just tell you what it's about. I'll read the back. It's easy, right? So it says, the street worker, the mother, the dancer, the cop, the artist and the wife. These women live by countless unspoken rules. How to dress, who to trust, which streets are safe, which are not. The rules grow out of a kaleidoscope of fear, anguish, power, loss and hope. Maybe it's only these rules that keep them alive. When the neighbourhood is rocked by murder, the careful existence these women have built for themselves begin to crumble. Um, so basically, yeah, there's there's a serial killer around Um and I think this young detective realises that it's not just like the odd murder, it's 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 all connected. The murderer sort of does the same patterns when he murders. Um, but apart from the actual like thriller of the crime and stuff and the mystery of who done it, you also get to know um like each of the women and their stories and who they are. And obviously, as you can see, they're very different people, and you know, so I think that'd be interesting getting to know literally these women but also obviously uh the crime element of it as well so i i think it's be a really good one probably going to be quite emotional and dark but hey that's sometimes how i like my books you know i like a bit of this a bit of that um and i think it's really interesting to read lots of different types of genres you know i don't just want to be like you know reading this or reading that i like to read lots of, of different stories Anyway, next book is The Understudy. This, I literally cannot wait to read this. I've got to read this in the next few weeks because it just sounds so good. And what it is, it's a collection of uh, different uh, mystery thriller authors 
Uh, one of them being Sophie Hanna, who I absolutely love Sophie Hanna. She's such a great author. Um, so you've got Sophie Hanna, Holly Brown, Claire McIntosh and B.A. Paris, uh, who, who's also brilliant. But yeah, it's called The Understudy. So there's one novel um, and you get four internationally best-selling authors. So I take it like they're obviously going to be writing chapters between them and, and take on the roles of different characters and stuff. But I've never read a book where different authors have wrote the same story. Like, I just think that's such a cool idea and all thriller authors as well. Um, so they will put a little bit into the pot and mix it up and like hopefully create this amazing thriller. So it says, how far would you go to protect your daughter? Carolyn, Bronnie, Elsie and Kendall are bound together by one thing. Their four daughters are best friends at the highly competitive Orla Flynn Academy for Performing Arts. Um, Imogen Kerwood is a new girl at the Academy and her behaviour is a little bit odd from the start. On the day she arrives, bad things start to happen as one threatening incident follows another. The four mothers begin to ask themselves, are their girls in danger? When an attempted murder rocks the school, Imogen is pleased to report that she has an alibi. Uh, so if she isn't the guilty party, someone else must be. So Caroline, uh, Bronnie, Elsie and, uh, sorry, Kendall are determined to uncover the truth and protect their daughters. But are they prepared to risk their own secrets being exposed? Um, it says here, the understudy is the outstanding no novel from four masters of suspense. How cool is that, though? Like, I still think that's really cool. I love the cover as well of like the broken kind of uh, mirror and the shoes there. Uh, it might be a little bit like fame where they're, you know, performing arts mixed with murder and, and thriller. And yeah, I think it sounds cool. But right, okay, I've got um, this one here. I picked up from a charity shop for a quid, one pound. Uh, this is A Song for Ella Gray by David Almond. I've never... I never read this, right, obviously, but <laughs> I've never read it. And I always used to see it in the library, like literally. And I, for some reason, I used to be drawn to it and then never take it out. And I don't know why. But I saw it in a charity shop for a pound. And I was like, this is the time. I feel drawn to buy this today. So I, I bought it. And it just sounds really good. Like, I don't know why I never... Anyway, uh, it says it's lyrical, poetic, dreamlike, a triumph. Um, it says a, a story of first love. A love that draws on ancient and mythic forces. A love that leads Ella, Orpheus and Claire to the gates of death and beyond. A lyrical and dreamlike, beautifully written story. First love. This is, I think, going to be really cool. I don't know why. I just think this is going to be very magical. I think there's like like different verse in it as well, which is pretty cool. I don't know if there's any like... Oh, yeah, there's some artwork as well, uh, which I like looking at as well. I like art in um, stories and stuff. I um, don't know if there's any maps or anything in it but anyway yeah no I think this is going to be cool and I don't know why I didn't pick it up earlier um, okay now this is my current read so I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute uh, this is the book that's going to be my my Christmas read for the book club which I'll also tell you about in a minute but the last book I've got to show you is this one here this oh my god this is so beautiful look at this it's a piece of art to me uh, so this is a sky beyond the storm it's the last in the series um i can never say her name sorry sabah tahir is it sabah tahir um and this is a very special edition from auto signs it's signed by the actual author i've got to be really careful how i touch this book <laughs> so there's her author which is a, a signature which is pretty cool look at that oh really cool um so yeah there was ember in the ashes torch against the night and a reaper at the gate so absolutely i love this series so much and this is the the last one the big finale i'm not going to obviously read the back in case you haven't read any of the other books from the ember quartet but um just know it's really good if you like your fantasy trust me this such a good series and uh, i hope they make it into a film or a series or something you don't know do you? it might be um but yeah purple as I say, sprayed edges, and under here, the actual dust jacket is purple as well. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Woo, I'm looking forward to kind of see, um, you know, what happens, how it all ends up, you know, tie up the loose ends. Right, so um, I've got two more books to show you quickly. This is going to be, as I say, my book club read. Um, this, so, yeah, basically, Minx Book Club, book of the month of December that we chose between us all um was any holiday christmas theme book right so i had a little look on my bookcases i was going to get one from the charity shop but i was like actually i'll look on my bookcase first i found this one i was like that's a result um i'd got this like a few years ago never read it so this is going to be my christmas read um i was going to read it at the beginning of december and then i thought you know what i'd rather it 
be on that Christmas week, like literally that week, uh, a few days before Christmas, I want to, you know, read it, not the beginning of December. And that's just my personal choice. But um, so it's called Christmas at Carrington's by Alexandra Brown. I love the cover. Very, very pretty. Really like this. And um, because I'd got this book ages ago, I'd kind of forgot what it was about. All I knew there was obviously a, a Christmas theme, but it does sound really cool. Um, so it says Georgie... Hart loves Christmas time at Carrington's department store, running luxury handbags. Um, Georgie adores helping customers in the hunt for the perfect gift for the perfect someone. And this year is no exception. Now she has the hunky Tom. <laughs> My mum always says the word hunky. Oh, he's so hunky. Very 80s word, that hunky. Anyway, Mr. Carrington himself to spend the day, special day with. But when Tom springs a surprise, George's plans are thrown into chaos. Carrington's is getting a fresh lease of life in a hot new reality TV show featuring the retail guru Kelly Cooper. As the first show airs, Georgie is shown in a far from flattering light. And worse is to come when Kelly's vile daughter appears to get her claws into Tom. No, get your man. Uh, Georgie fears this will be the worst Christmas ever, but Santa still has a little surprise for her stocking this year. You just have to wait until Christmas to find out what it is. Um, it does sound really fun. Like, it really does. I love the whole reality TV thing as well. I love all my Made in Chelsea and The Only Way is Essex and stuff. Um, a sparkling debut. It says, oh, so this is the author's first book, apparently. Devour in one sitting like a delicious, indulgent cupcake and then go back and start again. I love these quotes from people that are on books. But anyway, so that is my Christmas read. I'll be saving for literally that Christmas week, which is really soon now. So it won't be long and then I'll be reading that one. Right, so the last book I'm going to tell you about is my current read. Um, this is, you know, obviously it's a new book haul, but this was a new book as well. But the minute I got it, I had to start reading it. It kind of took over everything else I've got to read. Because uh, the minute I heard about this book, I was like, I need it. I want it. I want to read it. I have to have it. Uh, went on eBay, picked it up for like three quid. Bargain. Um, it's used, but to be fair, it looks like in really, really good condition. Like it didn't look used or anything. So this was originally a story by a girl who was like 17 when she wrote this. And it went on that Wattpad site, which I, I should look into really. Um, but yeah, and then obviously it became a hit on there. And they, they actually ended up publishing it and turning it into like a big thing. And um, I think she's from Australia. If I remember rightly, I looked up about her. So her name is Olivia Harvard, and uh, it, the book is called Confessions About Colton. And uh, how cool is this cover? It looks like this guy is just like ripping out of the page. Uh, he, yes, he is dead on this picture, which is a bit. Mm. Um, it's just so weird. Like I've never seen a book cover. It literally is so three D. It looks like it's coming out the page. Anyway, so it says seven clues, seven steps closer to a killer i'm currently on page uh 29 no sorry can't even read that oh 273 there you go um so i'm just over halfway yeah over halfway here so i reckon i should maybe get it done tonight if not definitely by tomorrow morning or something but so good i really recommend this book if you like young adult thrillers like seriously it's so so good i cannot stress enough how good this book is I'm so excited about it and I'm reading it and I'm just like, ah, just want to get to the end, find out what happened. But um, the only negative thing I would say, and this is just a personal thing because I'm a bit weird, I'm not happy that the font is so small. Like, look at that font. Um, basically, I obviously you can see I wear glasses and stuff when I read. So I like reading books of a normal font, but these are like tiny it's tiny maybe to you it's not tiny maybe it's just because i've got bad eyes but um that's that's just a personal thing that's the only negative but the story <sighs> the story is good it kind of is reminding me a little bit of um what's it called is it 13 reasons why is it called that i can't remember but i loved i loved it but anyway i'll tell you what it's about so when high school sports captain and honor student colton crest disappears his small town is quick to jump to conclusions but when he returns two months later, unharmed, the town breathes a sigh of relief until days later when his best friend, Elliot Parker, discovers Colton's body in a local lake. On the front there. Um, at the funeral, Elliot finds a note in his pocket claiming to be from Colton's killer. They are offering to provide a series of clues that will help Elliot discover their identity. Elliot has no choice but to follow where the confessions lead. But with each new revelation, it becomes clear that Colton had a strange and secret other life. As Elliot sets out, uh, sorry, as Elliot sees out this sick game, he begins to wonder, 
is he hunting down the killer or is the killer hunting him? <laughs> I literally, I'm so excited by this book. It's so good. So um, I, I can't wait to get to the end. And it's not one of those thrillers that's really obvious. Like I'm literally, I thought it was that. And then I was like, oh no, it's not this. It's not her. It's not him. Is it? Anyway, so I, I'm, I think I've got an idea. But I could be wrong because I've been wrong throughout the book. So, yeah, really, really good, gripping, exciting thriller. It's had quite a good review on Goodreads as well, which is cool. Um, and really great that this young girl wrote this story. It went on Wattpad and then become published. Like, it's so cool. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, that's the end of the video. I can take my glasses off now. I've probably got a red mark on my nose. Yep. Starting up. Does anyone else get that when they've got glasses on? You take them off. You get, like, this red lion. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully it's give you some book ideas. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below what book you are currently reading and if you're enjoying it or not. Don't forget once again, uh, come and join the Minx Book Club on Goodreads. The link's down below. Um, it's fun. It's just cool. Be, be part of my virtual book club. Bookworms unite. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter, MinxLaura123. Follow me on Instagram, MinxLaura123. And uh, really quickly, please check out my other YouTube channel, Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Uh, on that channel, I do videos to help people with anxiety and insomnia, uh, basically relaxation videos, chill out, sleep, get tingles, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link down below to that as well. Anyway, take care of yourselves. And um, I think I've said anyway about seven times in this video, so I apologize. Um, <laughs> I nearly said it again, but I stopped myself. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.